soil in for the 25th time. The friendly soil of England, with its ordered farms and rural hamlets, its country estates surrounded by formal gardens and well-kept parks. And these Americans knew only from the classics they had to read in school. The England of the towns and cities, whose people have defended their island's freedom for over a thousand years. But today, their countryside has changed. Today, their island has been converted into a gigantic bomber field, a super aircraft carrier anchored off the shores of Fortress Europe with hangars and machine shops, with hundreds of dispersal points, perimeter tracks, and concrete runways. This is England in its fifth year of war. And this is the new battlefront, the air front, from which we seek out the enemy. Not his infantry or his artillery, not his panzer divisions, but the greater menace, the industrial heart of his nation the foundation on which the Nazi Empire and its armies stand, the power behind the German lust for conquest. The steel mills and refineries, shipyards and submarine pens, factories and munitions plants, pinpoints on the map of Europe which mean rubber, guns, ball bearing, shells, engines, planes, tanks, targets. Targets to be destroyed. And these are the destroyers each with a belly full of bombs, and 10 men, like the crew of the Memphis Bell. Pilot, Captain Robert Morgan, industrial engineer from Asheville, North Carolina. He's flown this ship across the Atlantic. The other pilot, Captain Jim Varinas, business administration student of the University of Connecticut. Radio operator and gunner, Sergeant Bob Hansen, construction worker from Spokane, Washington. Navigator, Captain Chuck Layton.